Let's be real, the Duggars have been referred to as disgusting for years now and hell lip, and they usually deserve it. Whenever we learn a disturbing little tidbit about the family's stance on childrearing and education, whenever Derek Dillard opens his bigoted mouth, or whenever we're reminded of Josh's existence, the word comes to mind, right? But then it comes to Jessa, the word has a little bit of a different meaning. Because a lot of people seem to think that Jessa is just plain filthy. For at least a few years now, her cleanliness has been called into question. She once memorably shared a series of photos of how messy her house had gotten after they welcomed one of their children and dash. The photos featured piles of clothes around the house, piles of dishes in the sink, and a pile of diapers on a nightstand. She's also made posts about how her kids draw on various surfaces in the house, and any content she produces inside her home is usually met with scrutiny because she just doesn't seem like a terribly neat person. But right now, an old counting on clip has been making the rounds, and there's something a little more specific that's been troubling viewers and hell lip, and that something is Jess's couch. The Duggars love a home birth, and Jessa chose this tradition during her first three pregnancies and dash, and usually it did not go well for her. She had postpartum hemorrhaging after two of those deliveries, her first and her third, and she had to be rushed to her local hospital both times because her midwife team couldn't stop the bleeding. But still, in an old clip from one of her home births, she can be seen kneeling in front of her couch in her living room over a white carpet, with only one absorbent pad and one small towel next to her. You'd think that, with as many times this family has given birth at home, someone would have pointed out that this was inadequate, right? Especially for someone who had already shown to have problems with hemorrhaging after childbirth. This is just so gross to me, one person wrote after seeing Jess's lack of supplies. That couch has to be disgusting, especially considering how she hemorrhages. That little pad, no way it soaked up everything. This is why I go to a hospital where they change out all that nastiness every chance they get. I'd swap it with a waterproof sheet and more than one of the puppy pads, someone else suggested. Another person took issue with the white rug in the living room, because if she was going to be having a baby directly over a rug, it could at least be a brown rug. These are all fair points, especially since, as we've said, Jessa has given birth on the same couch twice, she bled profusely after one of those births, and the couch is the same one that's still in her home to this day. Couldn't Jim Bob just write her a small check so they could run down to the big lots and find literally anything else, at least just something that had never been splashed in afterbirth? Unfortunately, this isn't all the criticism she's received recently and dash, just a few weeks ago, she received even more backlash for a video she shared of her kids eating pizza while sitting on some asphalt. Best days of our lives and we don't even know it, she said as her three oldest kids sat in the parking lot in her front yard and ate some slices directly from the box. The children just eating pizza out of a pizza box on the ground of the church parking lot. Not even a blanket just asphalt and ants these cannot be the best times of their lives, one person wrote of the video. Jess couldn't even splurge for paper plate, another person complained. Eat it straight from the box kids, right off the dirty floor and dash. Oh and no need for napkins so just wipe your greasy hands and faces on Henry's shirt. The video even sparked some safety concerns and dash, asphalt gets hot, obviously, especially with how hot it gets in the south where Jessa lives. One person said that if the video was taken any time recently, then those babies are so hot and uncomfortable in that asphalt. She has officially moved to the not giving a damn. It's hard to say if Jessa truly doesn't care about these kinds of things or if she really just doesn't know better. Considering her upbringing, it wouldn't be much of a leap to assume she's really just clueless about things that many of us just consider to be matters of common sense. But seriously, if nothing else, can she please just get a new couch?